All right, you all, I'm your girl, rapper, singer, Blondie Pink, comedian, actress, civil rights leader, Michelle Hope Walker. Blonde hair is beautiful on us black women. And yes, on our natural, cold hair, it is so beautiful that blonde is. Now, you can wear your hair however you want, because as we're going into our Black History Month, as we wrap, you know, we've done our Martin Luther King music, that's time to start going into our Black History Month, where we discuss more different issues issues and challenges that we have to experience as black people, the racism that we have to experience as black, the hair racism. I'm so glad and I'm so privileged and I just feel so happy to be in the district of Holly J. Mitchell, my Los Angeles Board of Supervisors representative from my district who also has held many offices, um, public offices, um, who really initiate the Crown Act. And that's about helping to protect black women, black men from us wearing our natural hair, that you should be able to wear your natural hair and not get fired or not get um, discriminated against or racism against because of your hair. You know, and it, it gets me sometimes. Um, and y'all see, my rap name is Blondie Pink. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Because I love this blonde natural hair that I wear, whether I wear it long or short. Um, I love, like, my lips are like a natural pink lining to it. I just got blessed like that. Just put some nasty knees on it and it be the natural little pink. You know, and then I like wearing pink. You know, then it's just a great rap name. You know, so blondie pink. That's me. Lively. Yes, blondie pink. But anyway, um... You know, and it's a shame that because of the color of your skin, that people will try to diminish you, try to look at you as less than because you are a black person. That still goes on so much. I deal with the daily as a black woman. And really, no matter how we wear our hair, we always are dealing with racism. Believe me, you, I've worn my hair all <laughs> My natural black hair, long and curly, you still get racism and discrimination. You wear a wig, you black, gray, black, gray, black, blonde, pink, whatever, you still get it. You know, they just always have had something to say about the black woman, especially, let me talk about the black man, but especially the black women here. They've always had something negative to say. Now, other races can wear their hair all kind of colors. I have one side shaved off, other side. Nobody's seeing, nobody's criminalizing them because that's when it really gets wrong. And bad is when they criminalize black women because of their hairstyle. That is just too wrong. That's why with the Crown Act, thank God for the Crown Act and hair discrimination because black women get more hair shaming from other races, from our own race, from our own black men. You know what? It'd be, it'd just be a shame from our own other black women who feel like they should only wear their hair and all black women should only wear their hair straight process, you know. These days, because um, which I've been knowing that though, but the relaxers are giving people disease. But I heard about that, woo, so many years ago. But anyway, um, you know, so some people now have gone to straightening the hair, just blow drying, whatever the case might be. And nothing wrong with that. My thing is wear your hair however you want to. But the thing is, don't put other people down for how they wear their hair. They have the right to wear their hair. And what gets me is how a person will literally, first of all, because again, we got to start with the race, because it's us black women that's, that's getting it the most, it's getting the negative treatment and the criminalizing of the hair and just the criminalizing because of the color of our skin more than any other race, you know. And sometimes you gotta watch because when you say around other races, like, well, no, our people, and I'm like, good, honey, mm -mm, mm -mm. they will discriminate against us. But we even open up our mouth, for they even know all these degrees I got. They see this beautiful me with this beautiful blonde hair and this beautiful natural textured hair and my beautiful black skin, and they just automatically go negative instead of positive. <laughs> Sad. You know, y'all know I'm a comedian, comedian, Michelle Hope Walker. I know somebody, so I think I did say my name, but anyway, I'll go it again. Uh, so, rapper, singer, Blondie P, comedian, actress, civil rights leader, Michelle Hope Walker. So, you know, it's so sad. I say we are the most provenest people. Black people are the most provenest people. Because when we walk on, on the scene, the first thing they go is negative with us. You know what I'm saying? Thinking we dumb. Thinking we less than. Thinking we homeless. Thinking um, we ghetto. Thinking we're not educated. You know, everything negative you could think of. Sometimes when we become in, when we come in the space, that's what other people, sometimes even our own people, think of black people and especially us black women we really get it watch my racism against black women series it's a docu series it's ongoing because i'm a black woman so i ongoingly have to deal with racism every moment every day but anyway 
Um, you know, but it's not right. So literally, first we got to deal with black women, got to deal with the color, you know. So all because of the color of our skin. So y'all know I'm a happy person. You've been around me. You know I'm a happy person. I love life. I love everybody. I don't care what color you are. I'm just happy. <laughs> That's me. You know? And it's sad to some people. You know, I learned some people don't like to see black people happy. <laughs> they want to see black people sad and struggling. And if you're not sad and struggling, they do not like to see you happy. And if they see you happy, they're trying to do something to make you unhappy. I'll be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I know sometimes I watch the movies and documentaries back in the day when sometimes when black folks got around certain folks that acted sad and humbled and bent their back over. I guess because they had learned it. Maybe this came from slavery days. They didn't want to see you happy. They wanted to see black people sad and struggling and, and looking like they're just, oh, poor you. <laughs> oh, you know, one time I was just traveling, right? Because y'all know I do all kinds of jokes when I'm traveling because you got bags when you travel. And I already going to carry me a couple bags with me because I'm trying to stay alive. You know what I'm saying? I got to ask. I got to get puffers on me to breathe. You know, different stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm traveling, then I got more bags, right? But I'm traveling. Duh. People that travel, you got bags to carry your stuff when you're on planes and, you know, you're going, you know, from here all the way out to New York or different places that you're going. You know, I'm from LA, New York. You're going to bring a bag. You know what I'm saying? And one time, I think I was just, and I do public transportation. Yes, I believe my public transportation. Thank you, public transportation. And I think I was at a stop and I went by and I think somebody gave me a dollar or something. And so they just, but now I guess that's, I don't know, is that good racism when they just consider you homeless because you're at a bus stop waiting for a bus? I don't know. But I'm like, I took that dollar. And I'm like, if you're going to be that racist to just automatically assume because I'm at a bus stop with a bag that I'm homeless, I'm going to take your money. That's what you get for being racist. But anyway, um, so I don't know, maybe it's good racing. You make some money off the race. I don't know. But anyway, so we have to watch it. So just because of the color of your skin, people will think negatively of you, treat you negatively. Now, you know, I love that test. And then, uh, CNN, you need to do this again. Or no, I think I, I, they didn't need to do this again. But I remember watching something where they would have the black person and the white person dressed the same way, saying the same words, doing the same things. Now, the white person always got treated right, good customer service accommodated. And right off the bat, when the black person was doing the same thing, wore the same thing, had the same thing as a white person and um, was dealing with the people, they always went negative on the black person automatically. Before the black person opened their mouth, I said, that's the thing with the racism with us black people. Before we even open our mouth, before I even can tell you how many degrees, because a girl is smart, degrees, I'm not saying I know everything, but I'm smart, um, education and degrees I got. <laughs> And the things I've done in life, I ran for president, yes, 2016, United States of America president. Yes, that takes a lot of guts, a lot of boldness, a lot of knowing who you are, a lot of good self-esteem, and a lot of caring about people to know that you care about people enough to put yourself out here on this line to try to get yourself in position to help as many homeless people, to help stop racism, to help anybody, no matter what race they are, to help people. So, yes, I pat myself on the back. Yes, I do. But anyway... <laughs> They go negative on the black, especially black woman. They just go straight negative on us when they see us. <laughs> I know sometimes at the comedy uh, clubs, you know, sometimes we had open mics and you got to go stand in line. And I know once I, you know, I go stand. First of all, you just approach. They're like, oh my God, look, 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 look. <laughs> you can feel it. You can feel it. You know, I got that Holy Spirit too, right? Name of Jesus. I'm a Christian. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Christian, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, God, Christian. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That one, you got to say, you know, when you say you praise God, you got to say who you talking about, because we've got a lot of different gods. So my God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, God, okay. Um, you can feel it. You can feel it. You know what I'm saying? God gets you that discernment of, you know, reading people mail. They ain't got to say nothing. You already read to me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and that's not just even when you go to the, that's anywhere. And then when I give him my comment, like, oh, you cool. Oh, da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? But then my thing too, is I'm still leery of those who I felt that looked at me negatively when I walked up, no matter what space I'm coming into. Cause how dare you prejudge me and you don't even know me. And don't tell me why I do everybody like that. You're lying, you're lying, you're lying. <laughs> white people and other people can walk up and everybody just is happy and smiling and y'all know I do the joke all the time people love white people white people and I love y'all but they love for y'all to talk to them white people all races love for y'all they just get so happy they feel like it's validated when white people talk to them I don't know but they just get as giggly and happy to have a white friend now white people I tell y'all always got a job because we do always need y'all because it does make a difference having y'all in our life as far as being with us visually when we trying to get some stuff done people just automatically start calling us by our last name Miss Walker <laughs> oh cause you got a white person with you it's sad that's racism it's sad y'all didn't create it y'all society created that but anyway 
So it's black women. When I'm talking about hair discrimination and that blonde on black women. And, and think a lot of people are wearing blonde. I've always been wearing blonde back for all my life. You can see through all my pictures from the blonde wigs to natural blonde to low cut blonde. I've always, because I just love me some blonde. So I've always gone back and forth blonde and black. Sometimes I may throw a little red or brown in there, but mostly it's my blonde and my black. Okay. Um, you know, but now I think the blonde, especially the short blonde natural hair is popular again. So a lot of people are doing it now. But it still does not stop the hair discrimination that black women get when we wear it. You know, and so again, I thought about that today when she was saying when other races wear different color hair, they call that fashion. Oh, look at that. That's fashion. When a black person wear a different color hair, oh, look at that ghetto. Oh, my God. They start approaching you differently. You know, sometimes we get people to start approaching, girl. And I be looking at her like, I do I know you. Do I know you? <laughs> No, yeah, no, I'm a happy person. I just go along with it. But I'm like, but I can tell the difference because sometimes then when I'm dressed in my suit or at times when I've had my hair black and, you know, they approach you more business like, you know, and it's just said so by the color of your skin determines on sometimes how people going to approach you. And I don't want to hear nothing about that. Well, you're everybody. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because a white person walked up, you'd be all happy. What's your name? How you doing? Da -da -da. You walk up, they act like they scared to look at you, scared to say something. And black men in Hollywood, when you walk in that, what is it to act like y'all scared to look at a black woman? I don't want y'all, but I am a happy go lucky person. So when I pass a brother, I do, hey, how you doing? You know how we do that now, black people. Hey, how you doing? You know, when we walk in the opposite way, but hi, you know, you just nod your head. They like, they be scared. I don't want you. Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of them, they want to get with everybody but a black woman. And that's fine. That is your business. I have no problem. I have a mixed family. We all got different races in it, just naturally. And then people have married different people out of different races. And it's fine. We love everybody. <laughs> I'm just saying. I ain't done nothing wrong to you. I'm just speaking to you. <laughs> They scared for to speak to a black woman. I guess they scared me. She might think I like, no, no, no. I'm just speaking to you. We are going the opposite direction. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm comedian Michelle Hope Walker. Um, so anyway, so we have to deal with just the racism of just black being black, a black woman. You know, we have to deal with that when we walk in. And then, and so it's sad that people would treat you less than because of the color of your skin. You get less customer service. You all seen I just did one on medical. You get less medical customer service. Sometimes you don't even get medical services because you're black. You know, I mean, just be a whole, all because of the color of your skin. And oh my gosh, when you, when you let them know or you bring it to their attention that they've been racist, oh my God. They do not like that. The first thing they start telling you, my friend black, my husband black, my this is black. I do not care. That does not make a difference on how you are treating me right now. <laughs> I, mean, I don't care how many people, your mama could be black. I don't care. You're still mistreating me right now. <laughs> you are still being racist right now. Because <laughs> you know there are black people that are very racist against other black people as well. But a lot of times people kick that in on you. You know, when my kids have black, I don't care. We ain't talking about your kids right now. We're talking about how I just seen you give this white woman in front of me the best customer service. And I get up here. I'm very, in matter of fact, they don't even be nice to them. So I'd be very nice. I'm a very nice person. You know, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, were you nice to them? You know, first thing they want to go to when, some, when they hear about somebody mistreating or doing racism to a black person, they want to think that the black person done something wrong to the person. No, I'm a very nice person. I'm a very, I'm very kind person. I'm aware of <laughs> that people can be racist. So I'm on purpose probably even trying to be even more nicer. <laughs> Because I'm like, they are not going to be able to say, well, she did this and she did that. Nope. Even when they doing wrong to me and saying wrong stuff to me, I'm still nice, kind. Because <laughs> I'm like, when this all folds out, and then you know, there's cameras everywhere, they're going to see, well, even though this woman, man, was being racist towards her, she still stayed, you know, you know, very nice and kind and respectful, you know. Because for me too, especially when I'm in stores, even doctor, whatever, I'm just trying to get what I need to get done and get out. I've learned that. For black people, don't even get some time focused on how they mistreat you, how they being racist. Do what you got to do and go on away from <laughs> Because you cannot change people's racist thoughts and attitudes overnight. You just have to pray for them. You know, I'll still sometimes be nice to them. So maybe they'll see, oh man, I was racist to her, but she stayed nice. So maybe that'd be a good experience for them where next time when they're around a black person, they won't be so mean and evil. <laughs> So we already got to deal with the skin color that people are just, and they do not like being called racist. They do not like uh, being pointed out today. But if you are, you are, you know, but at times just try not to point that out, just keep going or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm telling you, if you point it out, they get even more mad, which to me, I'm always like, that seems like they should be like, oh, I'm sorry. What did I say? You know, be willing to learn. What did I say that sounded racist? You know, or sometimes you get these people to try to take, no, I'm not. That would be, they're they going to try to tell you. <laughs> 
Now you the black person that they being racist to, but they gonna try to tell you what racist. I'm like, okay. And I'm just one. I don't like to go back and forth. I don't like to argue. I don't know. Black woman in public argue don't want to do that because what the first thing they gonna do? They gonna come to you because unfortunately they have stereotyped black women to be um, the one that they feels argumentative, even when the other people are being argumentative. That's why I get shots out to Donald Trump. I don't care what y'all say about our former president Donald Trump, and we may end up being president again. <laughs> Of Donald Trump is that I remember that show he was doing the Apprentice and then white girls and I, other racist girls I love y'all but I'm just saying y'all the story um, tried to team up on Kenya and and Donald Trump seen right through it he seen what they were trying to do to Kenya and he validated Kenya I was like I was like okay President Trump is for black women yes he is um, but anyway so we're talking about hair discrimination right okay so we already got to deal with see for black women we just got to get through the color <laughs> and now it's to the hair and don't I remember back in the day, the old school, you know, the women, even today, they'd be like, you know, don't color your hair, keep your hair black, straighten your hair out, you know, because that's the purpose to climb up. And it's sad, I think it's changing now. But back in the day, you couldn't wear the braids, you couldn't wear the twisties. Uh, I don't even think they want you wearing the weave unless you had to really make it look like you, it wasn't weave or whatever. <laughs> But a lot of times they really don't mind it because as much as you can look like them, that mainstream, you know, white people, as much as you can, they, they don't mind it as much. <laughs> they just don't like our natural hair sometimes. But I thank God they're getting used to that because a lot of us are refusing to wear the wigs. We're refusing to straighten our hair and we're loving our natural hair and we're wearing it from attorneys to doctors to whoever. We're like, you're not going to make me wear a wig. You're not going to make me straighten my hair out for you to feel comfortable with me. That's your problem that you don't feel comfortable with me because I am a nice person. I am not doing one thing wrong to you. And so for you to sit there and treat me less than or think less of me because of my hairstyle, are you for real? And you only do that to black women because many women are wearing different hairstyles and you are not criminalizing them for their hairstyle and you are not thinking less of them. They only do that to black women. So, like I said, when I heard the lady talking about the subject on the Jennifer Hudson show, they let me date this. So today is January 17, 2024. Shouts out to Jennifer Hudson show. Um, and then the lady, she mentors, so she's here in L.A., she mentors girls at USC. But she got to talk. I said, man, that is so deep, so true. When other races wear pink hair, other color, oh, that's fashion. Oh, my God, look at her hair. Look at, you know, look at, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's, it's also um, like one day, yeah, I was young, but I still remember hearing this. When they used to say how Bo Derek wore the braids in the back, and even more recent when Kim, but that's my girl, let me some Kim Kardashian, wore her hair in braids. It's like, oh, that's fashion. That's cute. But then when black women were wearing their hair in braids, oh, that's ghetto. Oh, how dare they wear braids? You know what I'm saying? You know, so that double standard to the thing based on race and basically is racist and hair discrimination. So remember, the crown at google the crown Act. and again i feel so blessed to be in the district of holly j mitchell who is the one who initiate the crowned crown c-r-o-w not the show crown i'm talking about hair crown, the crowned act <laughs> <laughs> that fight that that uh does not allow for hair discrimination, especially black people, because we the ones that are getting that hair discrimination a lot of time. People misjudging us, putting us down, being racist towards us because of how we have our hair. And for me, I'd be like, I am the same person. It'd be amazing, you know, because I know sometimes because y'all know how to wear different styles. So sometimes I wear my long black curly wig you get treated some people, people love that or they love the the blonde uh wig you know um some of them don't always like the natural hair, but then some of them do like the natural but it just be amazing to me that i am the same person <laughs> i am the same person i am treating people nice the same way <laughs> So even after I get over the color thing, because again, sometimes when you're being nice to people, all because you're black and they do not want a black person being nice. <laughs> It'd be ludicrous. I mean, like, these people are nuts. <laughs> they don't want a black person being nice to them. Now, a white person being, oh, they eat that up. Oh, white people, I'll tell y'all, they love y'all. They love y'all. <laughs> Uh, I'm not saying everybody, but I'm just saying these are some of the things that a lot of times black women, black people have to deal with a lot every day, you all. Um, that's why sometimes other races deal with a little bit. If I be like, mm, walk a day in my shoes, please do. This stuff we deal with every day. But um, so anyway, you know, so after you deal with the color, then you got to deal with the hair. I'm like, I'm the same person. You know, that is not my problem that you don't like how I have my my hairstyle right now. I love my hairstyle. This is why I came out of my house looking like this because I love my hair. <laughs> and I'm one that I braid, I plait braid my hair, especially when it's a natural. I plait braid my hair at night and then I take it down as I go. But 
I have self-esteem and I love myself and I love my hair and I know who I am. That even as I'm outside walking, taking my hair down, so some of it may be braided, some of it have, but it's still beautiful. It's beautiful, however, it's my natural hair growing out my head. <laughs> and it is beautiful. <laughs> And I've even done videos where I'm here because I see something that wasn't even video. It is, you know, and I love it. I love it. I'm beautiful. I love me. I think God made us. You all, you got to remember, God made us. We are beautiful. And we have the right black women to wear our hair out and we want to. That's why I'm like, don't put people down, especially black. A lot of the rich don't have to deal with this as much as black women. We have to deal with this. And we don't really even deal with it because we've gotten to the point that, look, I love me. I'm going to wear my hair. However, I'm going to wear my hair. And I don't care if you like it or not. I don't wear my hair to help you feel comfortable. You wearing your hair the way you want to wear your hair. You dressing and doing however you want to do you. So how dare you going to try to put me down and mistreat me on how I got my hair or how I look on because of the color of my skin. See, you got to be bold with it in the name of Jesus. I <laughs> That's what God come in there. God loves us. God has created us. And we got to make sure we love ourselves. And then as they always say, make sure that you are, I'm going to say unapologetically black. And I know I'm an unapologetically black woman. I love me. I love all races. But see, we have to, as black women, take that stand because we deal with racism so much from other people. So we most definitely have to constantly be around that nurturing, that positive messages that black is beautiful. Black women is beautiful your black hair is beautiful you are beautiful black women and all races all of y'all are beautiful <laughs> women men all of you are beautiful it's just y'all don't get it as much y'all don't get when i say get it I mean you don't get the negativity as much that you don't get the bad treatment and the racism as much as black women get it so that's why you know that's just one of my subjects why because i deal with it. i'm a black woman i deal with this stuff every day when i walk out my door i deal with this every day People thinking they can ask black people anything. <laughs> Sometimes you be right there, well, where are you going? I'm looking at them like, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like a slavery code, you know? Because they it's not going to ask a white person or sometimes a person that is not black, where are you going? What you doing? Who, where you work? Who you do that? Why is you asking me all these questions? <laughs> and you know what God has shut I will tell somebody, I will shut that down in a minute. I will tell somebody in a minute, now, that is none of your business. You know, I used to sort of turn it around and start asking them the same invasive private, personal questions they were asking me. But then I just learned, no, because I don't even feel comfortable asking them. I don't even want to know that stuff. That's none of my business. So, I'm, so I would just ignore them. And then some people, they don't care. They want to get in your business. They're only doing this because you're black. Because they feel like they better than you. So they feel like that whatever they ask you, you're supposed to answer them. Because they have already, because of the color, see, here's racism, because of the color of your skin, they feel like they can talk to you however they want to. They feel like they can ask you, but they can just do whatever they want to because they, in their head now, it's not true. As Bill Winston talked about, we have to pray for people that feel like they got the superior, superiority over people. You know what I'm saying? These people that feel like they're more superior than, no, we all equal. I don't care what your job title is. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care. We are all equal. Nobody is better than another person. Don't get me wrong. I respect people for who they, what they do in different jobs, whatever the case might be, but you are not better than me, and I'm not saying I'm better than you. So, as Bill Winston talked about, we have to pray for these people that have this superiority type spirit because they need to be prayed for and and they need to, um, you know, ask for forgiveness for that um, and, and, and get that out of their spirit because you are not better than the next person. So let's be these people that are thinking they're better than black people. So they think they can just talk to you any type of way, maybe because they feel like you don't have as much money as them. Or again, just because your skin color, you're black. Use this a combination because you're black and you don't have the money that they think you, maybe you should have. Or and maybe you don't look the way they think a black woman should <laughs> You got the blonde natural hair. You know, they respect black women. They got the, the, the straight, long hair. I don't know, it'd be crazy, but you bet, but I don't care. You respect yourself, black women. You know, we not trying to look and dress and do our hairstyle to make somebody else feel comfortable. Because they ain't trying to dress and, and do certain things to make us feel comfortable. What in the world? <laughs> and, you know, um, you know how we wear our hair, what we wear, that's all subjective. I don't care what a person wear or how they got, if they nice to me, I am cool with them. I can care less what they look like. I tell you, I got friends who live in mansions and I got friends who live on the street. They are all cool with me because I'm like long. I mean, you nice to me and we exchange information, laughing, having fun. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm your girl, rapper, singer, blondie, pink, comedian, actress, civil rights leader, Michelle Hope Walker. I'm happy. I'm about fun. You know what I'm saying? 
we gonna just keep this thing moving. But like I said, when I heard that about that hair discrimination, I'm like, okay, it's trying to kick off Black History Month. <laughs> January ain't done yet, but y'all know we start right after Martin Luther King birthday. Actually, we start a couple weeks before. But actually, we actually start after the new year because they start showing Martin Luther King films. And then after Martin Luther King, then we just start kicking it into everything and all the discussions. So again, blonde with blonde hair on black women is beautiful. They are not ghetto. So to educate some, you never know who's watching these videos. So to educate, no, it's a color of hair. It, it, it's, it's a color... Right, it's the color of hair that a uh, person has decided to wear. It's just like sometimes you see white people decide to wear red hair, black hair. Wear, same thing with black women. Sometimes we'll choose to do red hair, blonde hair, uh, pink hair, or whatever color hair, and it's okay. It is a hairstyle. It is not determining that person's personality. It is not determining if that person is a good person or bad person. Um, it, none of that. You know, because y'all know, again, y'all know me. I'm smart, educated, very kind and nice, mean very good with good motives. You know, so for someone to see me and automatically because they don't know me trying to criminalize me or try to act like I'm ghetto or try to act like I'm homeless which it just be it behooves me but I've learned to not even let it get to me because I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna be who I'm gonna be you know it'd be like sometimes um because you know I don't walk up and say hey I'm such and such I don't do that no nope, I don't do that don't do that sometimes on these videos I give y'all a context of who I am but when I'm out in person doing my life I don't do that you know but it'd be amazing is then later when I run into people because in LA you know it's a, it's a hub of us you know you're running into people again you know what I'm saying? Especially in the music, TV, you know, Hollywood, stuff like that, things that I do. You know, um, then they'll come back all excited to see you. You didn't tell me you did this or that. Now, this is a person that when they first see me, looked at me sort of like, Ugh, you know. Um, but now because they seen I opened up for Cat Williams um, in comedy and Cat took me on tour with them to Hawaii. Or because this, and, oh, and that was a good one. They talking about Cat Williams, shouts out Cat. But yeah, oh, that was a biggie. I remember in comedy, when hardly nobody was, well, I don't say nobody, because I, I've been treated good in comedy. But I can tell you this, when I came back from being with Cat Williams on tour, do I... Let me tell you, people walked up to me and started talking to me who had never spoke to me before. <laughs> See, I'm not shady like that. You know, you always got to be aware of these shallow people, that they only really care about you and want to be your friend when you doing something or you friends with somebody that they want to be friends with or or you got something they want or they want you to show them how to do ABC. No, 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 no. You know, but I read them out good. Don't get me wrong. I'm a nice person. So I'm still going to speak. I'm still going to be nice. But at the same time, I already read you because I'm the same person you first met when I was cause usually when I walk up happy. Hey, what y'all day? You know what I'm saying? That's me. Um, you know, and you looked at me like, Ugh, you know, I'm just okay. Well, see, I'm that same person though. I have not changed. Now, for you, it seemed like I changed because now you've learned more about me and now you know all the different things I've done that you like. And so now um, you, I guess, you know, value me more, but you should have valued me when you first met me. I, I believe in valuing everybody. You know, why would I devalue a person? Everybody is valuable. I don't care how much money you got, what you look like, what color your skin is. Everybody is valuable. All right, y'all, let me wrap this up because I don't like it going more than 30 minutes. So again, hair discrimination is where we started off. I know we went into all <laughs> We didn't win into everything. I'm your girl comedian, Michelle Hope Walker. Yes, I'm very happy and just naturally funny. But um, but yeah, you know, so the key goal really to all of it is treat people.